Hi guys, it is Haven here. I'm doing a quick little video on how they dried. This is the pour from the boiler maker that I did. Is it the boiler maker one? Yeah. I ended up with a lot of cells in it. Didn't torch it a lot. It just this is how the cells came out. But yes, this was for the pouring in harmony base group challenge um for the fourth of July. So that's what I did. I like how it dried, dried pretty good. And here is my chameleon cell attempt drying thing. Came out pretty good. Lighting is not 100% great. But it is the color shift and it looks great in natural light. They shift really well. Or shines pretty good. Sides didn't do too bad at covering. Um, got a couple weeks for it to cure before I can give it a varnish. In fact, I am so behind on my varnishing videos, or varnishing my paintings, that I need to work on that here soon. The weather's actually decent, dry, warm enough that they wouldn't take much to dry, and not a lot of humidity at the moment. So I need to get that done. And here is my 3-in-1 that I did where I did the dirty pour, and then did the dip thing with the little discs and then did my chain pull it didn't come out too it dried pretty nice there are some lighter spots definitely where i did the chain but i kind of like the way we look to it and this one had the color shift in it with that sparkly glitter i'm trying to move it enough but you can definitely see that there is a little bit of glitter in it and then, like i said some of it came out really cool with the lines from the chain and here are the three little discs that I did. They came out nice too. That's not a white spot, it's where the silver is. It just looks kind of like a naked spot on the... They had some pretty cool designs on them. And there's that one. And there's this one. I like this one. Even though it's the darkest one, it's got a lot of character, in my opinion, on it. And then when I did that little video on doing my resin over this, the resin came out pretty good. But it was somehow after when I was drying, it tilted. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but I've got kind of a, like all tilted to this spot. So it's kind of a little bit thicker. You can't really see it, but I can. It's got, and if you notice when the light catches it, let me see if I can get it to turn right there. Oh. You can see the little ridge kind of, but I still really like how it turned out. Definitely made that really pop. I am probably going to do more of the resin to seal these in because it does make them look really cool. But I'm going to do it because my, I'm not sure if this resin has UV protectant in it to keep your colors pure, or not pure, from fading. There we go. There's word. So I'm going to probably take the next ones that I do and varnish them with my sealant UV spray protect stuff so they don't fade and then do them with the resin just because I like it and it does not take a lot of the resin to do it and it comes out pretty clear well I just wanted to show you those didn't have that many this time because I've done other little videos with it instead of just all painting ones but I hope you enjoyed and let me know what you think in the comments if you're interested in any of them, um, they are for sale and whatnot. And um, I do, it would be another two weeks so about before these guys are ready because I do need to varnish them and let them cure a little bit more before I do. So thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Have a great day. Don't forget to laugh because a day without laughter is a waste of day. And bye till next time.